First up, even as Pakistan's former Prime Minister Imran Khan and multiple PTI leaders face travel bans, President Arif Alvi is also under the scanner for meeting with foreign officials without keeping the foreign office in the loop. And Atullah Tarar, the special assistant to Prime Minister Shabazz Sharif, took to Twitter and made the claim against President Arif Alvi. He said, and I quote, President Alvi is holding individual meetings with foreign diplomats without informing the foreign office. This is a very inappropriate act and does not flatter the president that these meetings are held above the foreign office. Please resign and go home the statement said. The statement comes after President Alvi met with the Qatari ambassador when Imran Khan was arrested. The former Prime Minister Imran Khan has been on good terms with the Qatari government. A government minister in a cryptic manner said the Foreign Office was not kept in the loop for the meeting. Now the Foreign Office spokesperson Mumtaz Zahra has also rejected the claim at least twice in the past two weeks. President Alvi has also been spotted with Imran Khan multiple times since the dramatic arrest and release. Even while the tussle between Imran Khan and the government flared, President Alvi has been on Imran Khan's side. Also, President Alvi's stand is that the Anti-Terrorism Act should not be imposed on civilians who participated in violence that took place on the 9th of May following Imran Khan's arrest. This has also brought to fore the differences between the Supreme Commander and the military's position on the matter. These incidents have raised questions on the President's partisanship, whether the Supreme Commander is more of a PTI member than a pres the President of the country.